Hello and welcome back to our video series on your PLR makeover. In the next few videos, we will be taking PLR makeover to a whole new level. You're going to learn a few different ways to modify your private label rights videos. Now, if you thought all you could do with your PLR videos was to simply add a title or exit screen, you're in for a pleasant surprise. In this video, we're going to use Windows Movie Maker to create and add an entry and exit screen. Now, these are the basics that most anyone can do to edit or brand their PLR videos prior to resell. Now, I went ahead and opened up my Windows Movie Maker software, and if you're not sure where yours is located at, usually it's just going to be just go to your start uh, button and open that up go to all programs and it's gonna look like this right here Windows Movie Maker and if you just can't find this then you've probably got a really really old software or you've done some tweaking to your system I'm not really sure but that's beyond the scope of this video if you'd rather and are not sure if you've got it then you just do a Google search or use your favorite search engine and do a look-see for Windows Movie Maker download the version that will fit your operating system and go to town and at this point we are going to simply open up our source video file which is a WMV and let me just say this too if you are only working with an AVI source file and you're using uh, Windows Vista 64-bit uh, version and that Windows Movie Maker it's gonna look a little bit different than this and I also need to mention that you may encounter some problems with editing AVI files if that's the case don't sweat it just go to your favorite search engine and do a search for uh, video conversion uh, software and there's plenty of free ones out there or freeware that are something that you can buy but they've got a trial version a free trial version really that's all you need and unless you really just get tweaked by it and you really want to buy it then go ahead and buy it otherwise gather up all your AVI formats and do all the conversions you can during your free trial version that way you've got that out of the way um, but that's just my suggestion because you will encounter those problems more times than not with AVI but you will not with WMV with the Vista 64-bit version of Windows Movie Maker so that being said don't throw away your AVI formats just convert them to WMV now then I also want to mention too another idea that you can use your Windows Movie Maker for uh, because this being free naturally there's a, a few limitations that you're going to encounter with this versus a more professional not say anything against Windows Movie Maker but something you would pay a lot of money for like Camtasia Studio or Sony Vegas or you know, a multitude of other professional style video editing software out there um, but with this one another idea is let's say for example the video format that you have is not let's say the the voice is not of your native language and let's say that uh, English is not your primary uh, language what you can do is you can narrate in your uh, uh, native tongue in your native language portions of the video as it's going through and then you can whenever you pull in the video down here and we'll get to that in a second you can use this little tool right here which is a, a splicer or a cutter and it will split the video in certain sections wherever you have it marked and then at that point you can insert your audio uh, narration or commentary of the video so far and that not only adds additional value to it but my goodness I mean and now you you are increasing the customer base exponentially because it is now for your native tongue for your native language in addition to you know with it being in the original format the original language as well more than likely English so again that's just another idea that you can use Windows Movie Maker for is you can create a uh, additional language or additional audio files and split it split the video wherever you feel necessary uh, using this tool here and it'll light up here in a second when you pull in the video and then just simply insert those audio files uh, or the um, audio commentaries if you will so enough of that just an extra idea in using Windows Movie Maker to increase the value of your PLR video so let's go ahead and import this video and this is our video file here and it's WMV format just double click or you can you know click and then click on open and through the magic of video editing we're not going to take 40 seconds or longer only a couple seconds and there you go see that didn't take long at all it actually took about two minutes but that's uh, in the other world of non video editing so what one one thing that Windows Movie Maker does that other software 
does not, and that is that it breaks your little bitty video into a whole bunch of segments. Why, I'm not sure, but anyway, anywhere in here, you want to right click and then left click on select all or use your shortcut keyboard keys. Hold your control key down, then hit the letter A as an apple, and that will select all of them. You can tell that by the blue box around all of the video segments. Then just any one of these here, just uh, click on your left mouse button, hold it, and drag them on down to the timeline. Now if you click on this, then it will show the storyboard. We'll just kind of take a look at that real quick here. You see the storyboard, different segments that we've got. What is there, 20, 30, some odd, oh, it's 50, 52. There's 52 segments. My goodness. Anyway, so we want to be on the timeline. And that storyboard will come in handy here in just a second when we add some transitions. But for the sake of this video, we're not going to go into a lot of detail on the software Windows Movie Maker, just on the part of Windows Movie Maker that will allow us to add a title clip or an entry and exit screens to the beginning and the ending of our videos. Now a couple of points to ponder on here. The entry screen, you want to keep it short and sweet. Basically a brought to you by throw in your name and a URL. You know, maybe the title of the product as well. And when I say time, I'm talking maybe no longer than five seconds max. Uh, actually more ideally I would say three seconds for the actual title clip and two seconds for a transition. Just kind of add that extra professional zing to it. And then at the end of the video, the call to action or the exit screen, then you want to put in the URL or, you know, whatever or wherever you want the viewer of the video to go to, you know, to make a purchase or to submit their name and email address to then acquire a download. That you can make that, you know, 10 minutes long if you want because as soon as they're fed up looking at it, <laughs> they're going to get out of the video. So, I would suggest somewhere between oh, 10 to 20 seconds long. Any more than that, you're pretty much just wasting file size. The the exit screen is where you want to have the the URLs, the call to action, uh, tell your visitor, suggest highly to your visitor or viewer what you want them to do at that point. So again, long exit screen, short title screen or entry screen. So let's go ahead and make our entry and exit screen. Now both of them are pretty much made the same way. So we go here to make titles or credits. Let's kind of just see what we've got here. Finish video. Now after you've finished doing your uh, editing and your clipping and let's say we put this right here. You can see how this lit up or change color. All you got to do is just clip on that or click on that and it will split the clip into two different segments. And it would be in between those two segments so you can add that audio commentary I would mentioned earlier. Again, just an idea. So, as I was saying, let's get on over here to the Make Titles or Credits. Again, as you probably noticed, this is a preview window of the video down here. It will soon be a preview window of our title. Again, this is where you go to make the title at the beginning, go here to make the credits at the end or exit screen. And by all means, feel free to play around with any and all of these links in here because you're not going to be messing up the original video whatsoever because once it's pulled into the software here any changes you make are within the software it's not going to affect the original uh, you can in fact go up here to file save project or save project as and then it will create a project and maintain the changes or editings that you've done with the video so far. Again, not affecting the original whatsoever. Uh, and that's what I would do in case you like to redo stuff over and over again. But save project as a name, the project you're going to, you know, the end product, and also the location we're going to be saving the project. And after you're done, you can always delete the project because, well, you're no longer going to use the project unless you're going to make additional changes later. Then, yeah, you want to keep the project. Okay, so back to the job at hand. Title at the beginning. The top one here, we can use that for the title of the program. Let's navigate to the beginning of the video here. Let's say it's going to be called Social Network or Social Networking or whatever the heck you want to name it. And you can see, boom, there we are. And don't worry, we can change the font style, we can change the color of the text, we can change the background color, all that stuff. And as you can see, we got another box here. Down here is where I would put the brought to you by, you know, throw in your name. Introduced to you by, presented by. Got to be different. And boom, you can see you got different size text and it looks a little more professional too. Now, what's happening right here now is the transition effect. And you can see here, you know, you can play and it will show right here that it's going through and you got about 
four seconds of that. Now, to edit that or any of the other parts of this, like the text or the screen color, go here to change the title animation. That's what that was called, by the way, animation. Go here, and you can see you got a bunch of them right here. And if we move the video over, you can see by scrolling up or down, you got a whole bunch to work with here. Sorry about the cramped working space here. But if we go here, zoom in, zoom out, for example, boom. And come on down here, title two lines. That's pretty much what we're working with right now is the two lines. So by all means, play around with this until you're happy with the end result of the animation. Okay. Then whenever we're done with the animation part, Come on down here if you want to edit the title text. Yeah, you know, we've already done that. Change the text, font, and color. Here's where you can change the color, the background, the transparency, size, up or down. And the font, a lot of formatting options you can work with here. Once you're done with that, let's click and add it. Now then, down here you can see where it's been added. Now you can adjust the time frame here because right now if I hover over this, you can see it's at four seconds. If we get uh, right to the edge of this, get the double red arrows, left click, hold, and drag your mouse to the left. You can see it is now three seconds. Now, you can also increase that as well, but we want to make this minimal because, uh, again, you don't want to you know, make your viewers mad and they're going to go off you know, on a tangent somewhere else and not even watch your video. You want to say the call to action. You want to say the you know blatant self promotion to the end of the video. So let's go on over here to the transitions here and add a little extra wow factor to our video. And oh, let's go to the storyboard. Sorry about that. Here is where you can see the different segments again, and we want the transition to go in between the first and uh, the the title screen and the first segment of the video. And you just pick whatever transition you want. Feel free to play around with this as much as you want. Let's go with fade, click, hold, and drag it on in there. Or you can left click and then add to storyboard. And then come on back here to show timeline. Go to the very beginning, click on play, take a look at it, fade out, bam, there's our video. And that's pretty much it. Now then the same thing can be done with the end of the video. Again, with the end of the video or the exit screen or the credits clip, you know, which is what they call it here. You've got a lot of options here. Okay. Now what you can in fact do is in addition to using the built-in uh, default exit and entry screens, you can in fact go to Photoshop or the GIMP or any other image editing software you've got a hold of, make images that are say 640 by 480 or 800 by 600, you know, whatever typical size of the video is. Most of the time it's going to be like 640 by 480, at least that's what we're working with here. And create a video I'm sorry, create an image of your entry or exit. You're only limited by your imagination at that point because you can put in different kind of fonts, different colors, whatever your software allows, and then just simply import. Let's go on back here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we are done here. Going back here to import pictures. Then just import whatever picture or image you created using your Photoshop or your GIMP or whatever. And again, the same rule should apply. The entry screen should be short and sweet. The exit screen should be, you know, your call to action. But you import your video, or I'm sorry, you import the image that you want. And then you simply click, hold, and drag it to the beginning of the video, just like we did the videos here. And that's pretty much it. Those are a couple of options you can work with to add a little extra personalization or editing to your PLR video using Windows Movie Maker. And again, don't forget the beginning of the video, the entry screen, short and sweet. The end of the video, the exit screen or credits clip, make that your call to action. That, folks, is going to bring us to the end of this video on using Windows Movie Maker to create a entry and exit screen for your video. I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and play around with your Windows Movie Maker now. Have fun.